Hello everybody, Nikki here. Now my my wireless seems to be a little bit unstable so if it drops out, I do apologize. I want to talk about the gift in rejection. So have you ever got one of those letters that says, sorry, but you weren't successful this time? Mm. When we get one of those letters, it's like we get stabbed in the pit of our stomach. We just want to go to bed, don't we? You go to bed, it feels so hard and you just hope that if you lie there for an hour, perhaps you'll feel better. But what happens when we get one of those letters, often we go back to the time when we had all of these other rejections and they all accumulate in your mind and then suddenly you've convinced yourself, yes, there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. You are not good enough and actually, this rejection letter is just the world telling you, you should give up. You should probably go back and do a sensible job instead. But don't do it. Because actually, there is a gift here. Because I want to reframe rejection for you. Because do you know what? You share something in common with some of the world's most talented people when you get rejected. So I'm going to share some of them for you today because I've done some research on who's been rejected most prominently. So let's go to Walt Disney, shall we? He did pretty well in his life, didn't he? He was fired from Kansas City Star and he was told it was because he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. Hmm, I wonder if that's anything to do with the management. And then when he went to get some funding for Mickey Mouse, he was refused 300 times by different banks who thought that this Mickey Mouse idea was absolutely absurd. Mm-hmm, yeah, I bet they're regretting that decision. So let's move on to Oprah Winfrey, shall we? I think we can all say she's pretty phenomenal. But she was fired as an evening reporter because she couldn't keep her emotions at bay. Mm -hmm. Interesting choice. Jerry Seinfeld was fired after a poor performance on a very minor role in the sitcom Benson. Although the funny thing is no one told him that he was fired. He just turned up um, the next day and realised he'd been rewritten. He'd been written out of the script. That was nice, wasn't it? Gosh, treated very well there. Howard Stern famous, uh, famously set up XFM, but he was fired by NBC when he was working as a DJ. Let's look at artists, shall we? Van Gogh hardly ever received any acclaim for his work in his lifetime. In fact, he only ever sold one painting to an absolute, for an absolute pittance to a friend. Um, but just think about how much his paintings go for now and his reputation. Stephen King, his first book, Carrie, was rejected 30 times, 30. And then what happened, apparently he put his uh, draft in the trash. He thought, well, that's it, I'm going to give up. But it was his wife who picked it out of the trash and said, look, Stephen, just try one more time. And we all know that worked out quite nicely. Emily Dickinson, even though she's famous for her beautiful poetry, did you know she only ever had 12 published? Um, and that was out of the 1,800 she sent to publishers. So there you have it. <laughs> what matters here, what matters here is not the rejection. What happens here is how you respond when you get a knockback. You can respond by thinking, I'm no good, I should give up. Or you do have a choice to respond by thinking, okay, that's information. There might be something useful in here that I can learn from to improve what I'm doing. Or it might be that they're just not ready for your talent yet. <laughs> you get to choose how you respond to that rejection. What's most important here is that you keep going. You dust yourself off. And every day you just keep doing your work. You keep creating and you keep sharing it. It's people that are brave that keep creating, that get there in the end. And be one of those brave ones. 
The world is full of people who aren't brave, who hide what they do, who don't dare to share their work with the world. Be one of the brave ones and acknowledge yourself when you have that courage to send that book to a publisher, to um, put your work out there on YouTube. That is brave and I really want to acknowledge you for that. The world is full of people following the flock and we need more brave souls just like you. All right, I'm Nikki Moran. Thanks for watching. Um, come and see me at nikkimoran.co.uk for more fun frolics and a free ebook called Thrive.